guys say hi this is Ami's four month update if you want to see how baby Ami has been progressing and growing over the last four a little bit over four months keep watching guys this is Ami <laughs> um, Ami is a little over four months um, now and so to just give you a little background about baby Ami she is uh, 14 pounds now she's 14 pounds about 22 inches and she is growing so much she has changed so much from like the three to four month mark I saw so much development so um, kind of to start off with the things that most parents want to know um, one she eats about maybe five ounces every maybe four to five hours and then uh, we just we just started putting a little bit of cereal in her milk but Sometimes she does well with it and sometimes she just throws it up. So I'm still in between like whether I'm just going to wait a little while longer uh, to expose her to the cereal or um, whether we're just going to keep trying it and hope it works out. But right now she drinks about five, about five ounces every few hours. Um, she is sleeping through the night now. So that is a huge, huge blessing. So we put um, her and her sister down around eight o'clock and then she wakes up every morning around 6 30 to eat and then after she eats she she may stay up for like an hour or an hour and a half and then she goes back to sleep for an hour and then she takes her naps um from around oh, spit up she takes her naps <laughs> around uh two hold on guys oh she takes her naps between 12 o'clock to 2 o'clock with her sister. So her and her sister are pretty much on the same um, sleeping schedule. As far as her motor development, like she is moving so much, guys. She's scooting. I can tell she's going to be crawling like, like very early. Um, and she is like amazed. I mean amazed with her sister. Like I tell people it's almost as if she like knows that they shared the same womb. Everywhere her sister goes, she's looking at her. She, you can just see it in her face that she just likes, she wants to get down and be able to play with her. Like she laughs with her, she giggles with her. Like she just, just is so, she is so in love with her sister. And so when her sister and them are playing in their playroom, um, and I put her on the ground, she's always trying to scoot closer or grab her sister or, you know, she's trying to hug her or I'm gonna say kiss her, right? Or kiss her. Um, so she's, she's starting to move a lot. She is rolling over. Um, and so now when she's in her playpen or her crib or whatever, um, wherever we put her at at night is not what she said in the morning <laughs> like she could be at the t she could be at either the other end or she could possibly be like turned the opposite direction so she's say i'm really moving a lot uh oh you got to throw up some more yes she's really she's really starting to move a lot another thing is you can tell that she um recognizes us and she recognizes our voices she knows her name so whenever I say her name she turns really really quick <laughs> or whenever I come in a room it's almost like she knows <laughs> that I'm in that I'm in the room and the same thing for her dad and her sister um, another thing is cradle cap so one thing that I did with uh, Mackenzie that I said I was not gonna do with Ami because I think I messed up Mackenzie's hair by doing it was I kind of like scraped the cradle cap out and I think it messed up Mackenzie's hair so I said this time around I am not gonna do that I'm just gonna let it play out so she has a little bit of cradle cap she doesn't have much but I don't know if you can really see it it's not focusing right there but around her hairline she has a little bit of cradle cap but <laughs> For right now, that's about it. I don't I don't do anything to her hair. Like I I rarely wash it. I don't I don't do much to it. Um because I just wanted to do things differently with Ami just to see if there was a difference between how I uh how I did Mackenzie's hair versus Ami and see if there's a difference. 
Um, oops, sorry. Another thing is, um, that you probably could tell by the title is, um, when we went to her checkup, Ami was, I guess you would say diagnosed with a mild, mild case of torticollis. So what torticollis is, is basically what they call like a kink in the neck. And so they say that that could have been because of how she was positioned in my womb. It could have been how she was delivered or pulled out, or it could have been her time in the NICU with how they positioned her when she was sleeping. So uh, basically how I started noticing that in her pictures, and I'll see if I can put like a few pictures um, in the video about how I started noticing that her neck was leaning towards one direction. And I started seeing that around maybe two and a half, three months. And at first I was like, okay, well maybe her neck is just like, you know, it's developing. She's, it's, you know, she's just getting used to it. But I noticed that it was always in one direction. And I remember it, that, that didn't happen with uh, Mackenzie. So I just kept a note of it. And at her pediatrician appointment, they checked it out and they did notice that um, in a resting position, her uh, neck will lean more towards the right side. Now, her case is very mild because usually uh, babies with torticollis, it's like an, it can be extreme to the point where they just rest their head yeah. towards one direction, period. And then it's hard for them to turn to the left or to the right, um, depending on which side it's, it affects. But with Ami... She can turn her neck to the left and the right. You can see, like, like right now, if she turns towards this direction, it's a little shorter than that direction. Okay, mama. Um, but it's it's pretty good. She's pretty good, but it's it's still to the point where um she's gonna need physical therapy. So um, yeah, I was a little concerned about it at first, but then I did some more research on it and um. Her case is really mild and she's doing well. Like she's able to turn like even now, this is the side where she has the kink in her, in her neck and this is the side that she usually will like turn her head. She can still turn her head that direction. Um, so I'm, I'm thankful to God for that. But yes, we are getting her in physical therapy. I have been implementing uh, different uh, neck exercises. My neck exercises for her um, to kind of work on it and she don't really like them and I hate doing them but you know I gotta do what I gotta do another thing that's going on with baby Ami at three to four I'm gonna say four months is she is teething like nobody's business and she is drooling like nobody's business like I'm having to wash so many clothes because this little girl is drooling through her bibs drooling through her you don't want me to tell them is that too much <laughs> she is drooling through her bibs through her shirts through everything just like big old globs there you go you see that there you go y'all gotta y'all y'all saw that glob yeah that's like pretty much all the time <laughs> Um, and so she's really teething. She does suck on her thumb. Um, since we were traveling, I didn't really want to break her out of it because I probably assumed that it probably would be a lot of crying. So I didn't want to break her out of it. However, I'm a SLP, speech language pathologist by trade, and I know what the thumb sucking can do to their detention and then also their speech production of sounds. So we are going to work on that. But yeah, she's an avid thumb sucker. Like she sucks her thumb to comfort herself. Um, when she's sleeping at night, usually her thumb is in her mouth. Um, yeah, it's I'm no, I guess it's crazy. I'm like, it's so amazing how some kids have it and some kids do, some kids don't. But um, I love to babble. See, I love to babble. I love to coo, right? Yeah, she loves to talk a lot, and she is one of like the happiest babies like I was we were talking about names and she's named after her um her great-grandmother and I always say you know we probably should have named her joy or her middle name joy because she is such a joyful baby she's such a happy baby like she's laughing and giggling all the time the only time that she is not happy is if you interrupt her during the feeding or if she has poop on her butt she does not like that so usually if she's crying it's one of those two things 
But other than that, she's such a happy baby. You such a happy baby. You such a happy baby. She is such a happy baby, guys, and I'm so grateful for that. I'm sorry, she's getting and she's getting heavier. So, um, some of the things that she likes to play with, she likes um music. She really likes music. She likes singing and she likes dancing. So even though she can't necessarily do it, she likes to watch it. So her sister will dance for her. We'll dance for her. We'll sing to her. Um, she really responds to, of course, like most babies, bright colors. Um, not like neon bright colors, but bright colors in regards to like uh soft pastel colors. Yeah. Yeah, you see yourself. You see yourself, Ami. Yeah. But she's pretty much in a routine. Um, She loves baths. She did not at one point like baths, but she loves taking baths now. But she is developing well, guys. I am loving it. I'm loving her. She is a great additive to our family dynamics. Ugh, look at all this drool, y'all. <laughs> all this drool. But yeah, other than that, as far as developmentally, she is um, on on target for uh, speech and language, for fine motor and gross motor and for cognitive. Uh, yes, the only thing that we're working on now is the tour to college, which I, you can't even tell when she's sitting up. But I, I, again, I hope I, I think I put a picture in so you can see what a tour to college looks like. Um, so you parents out there that have children or have had children with toward a college, like, you know, comment down below some exercises that you may have done with them and how they progress. And they say it, ta it it's like, it's a muscle. It's basically like working out a muscle. So it takes a few months, um, before it kind of loosens up, but we are hopeful and we know you can do it. Okay, <laughs> but that is about it. If you guys have any questions about little Ami, our bedtime routine, um, how we got her to sleep through the night, anything that you may have, uh, let us know down below. And we will talk to you later. <laughs> Alright guys, see you later. Tearing. Now again, not all women tear. Many women do, but not all women tear. But in my case, I got a second degree tear. So with that, that's also another part of the healing process when you have